So we got a call for a Jeep that is stuck in some mud on a mud flat here by the Great Salt Lake. We came up last night. Johnny boy put yeah. us up. How you doing? He wants to know how you're doing. I'll just tell him you're fine. What's the weather? Well, it looks pretty nice outside, partly cloudy. I'm not an official weatherman like that. We got Lizzie back there. We got Skeeter. We got Trevor. We're going to head up there and see if we can get it out or if today is going to be a massive failure that makes us have to call in troops. We've got about an hour and a half drive before we meet the customer. And as if that wasn't enough, we have another surprise for you. It's a special guest and you're just going to have to wait one second for that. We're here at Bear River Valley Country Store. We're kind of stocking up here, getting some snacks and some grub in case we have to spend the night. Enjoying our last moments of civilization. We've talked to a couple of locals here. They're concerned. They have concerns. Search and rescue is ready to come get you. Oh man, I don't like the sound of that. Either way, it's going to be a good day. Well, that was not confidence inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> nope. So I told you it'd be a good surprise. We got Alan with Yankum Ropes. He's going to be our backup. It's going to be fun. Got the customer here. So what do you think? Uh, Who's truck? Whose truck is it? It's, mine. it's your truck. All right. I'm What's the ride? Yeah. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel. Yeah. Good to meet you, Daniel. Okay, we're just gonna head out there and yeah. cool. see if we can make this happen. We got our snacks. We are on our way. We're following the customer. We lost Skeeter. He jumped in with Alan. We're heading around the north end of the lake here. We got about an hour drive ahead of us yet, and then we find out if we're up to the task. You nervous about this, Lizzie? Uh, I know we'll get it done, but it might take longer than. Originally planned on. Are we gonna lose the Morver in the soup? There's a fifty percent chance. Oh well. Wow. She's know. got real numbers. Either you do or you don't. <laughs> that's 50-50. Well, I don't know the Great Salt Lake like I know Lake Powell, and that's what I'm used to, so we'll see. What do you think, Johnny? <laughs> you really want to ask my opinion? Yes, I do. I want your opinion. You're well, the only you're the only one in this truck that's been in this mess before. <laughs> I don't know. This is going to be different than the part of the lake I'm used to, which is down south. This end's a lot saltier. I don't know how that changes anything. I'm a little nervous. I ain't going to lie. I'm glad Alan's here. That makes you feel a lot better. Because you can keep him back like 200 yards or something, and if I get in trouble, he can always pull me back to safety. One interesting little tidbit here. This is where the Transcontinental Railroad, this is where they met, allegedly. Yeah. So there's a visitor center and stuff. They have replicas of the train engines when they met and had the big celebration and the golden spike. Like that's where we're at, we're at the golden spike. Anyway, I did a, I did a report on this in fourth grade. I don't remember much about it. In fourth grade, I'll bet it was really detailed. And accurate. What was it, five sentences? No, no, no. My mom wrote one way better than that. A lot of history here though, the Transcontinental Railroad. Gordon Lightfoot sings a song about it. You gonna sing it with me? I don't know it. For they looked in the future and what did they see? They saw an iron road running from the sea to the sea. That song? I don't know if I've heard his. <clears throat> All right, we are as far as we're gonna be taking Blue Steel because he's now going out there. I'm not gonna take a 9,000 pound rig plus a trailer. What do you think we are? 15,000 pounds, not taking a 15,000 pound rig out there. So how far are we from the Jeep? Okay. Well, here we are, we'll see what happens. I don't think it's as bad as we originally thought, so it might take a little bit shorter than we planned on. Hopefully, it looks pretty soft though, it's muddy, so even though it's not far, like we thought it was miles and miles and miles, it's still... It can still be pretty bad. Yeah, as soon as you go yeah. right there, that looks like... Yeah. Consequences. It's like instant down to the axles kind of thing. <laughs> oh, we got good news, so let me show you something here. The pin that I was given was right there and that happens. Sometimes when you send a pin, it like doesn't triangulate off towers. I don't know. I don't mean to get all technical and scientific on you, but it doesn't work. So in reality, the job we have is right here where we're at, like on the other side of this little rock formation right here. 
instead of here. So if it was here, we still would have 40 miles of driving, which we don't have now. I thought you guys would all be cheering. Yay! I was disappointed that we might not get totally stranded. We brought the four-wheeler so that, like, if we buried our rigs, we would likely have a chance back to get back to shore. We're not even going to unload it because we're, we're already here. Guess we don't need to go out there. Like, there's a lot about this job that I was anticipating differently. Well, after uh, lots of time driving out here in the mud, we've arrived at the Jeep. What was it, about 30 seconds worth? <laughs> it is nasty out here, though. I was walking around the trailer and my leg was obviously pretty close. Like my leg didn't touch the trailer, but my pants caught it and I ripped my pants. Last time Lizzie ripped her pants, she blamed it on me and I had to take her shopping. So okay. what do you guys think? Do I have to take Lizzie shopping for pants again? I'm buying you new pants. <laughs> We're buying her new pants. Right there. Or is this one completely Lizzie's fault? Let us know in the comments. So we figured that since we are here and none of us have ever been here except for Johnny Boy, just once. So we're gonna stop in here at the museum. This is where the Transcontinental Railroad uh, met. So we're gonna just kind of check it out and see if they've, oh, they got the engines there. Yeah. We're gonna show you some engines. Visitor center. Have you ever been here? I haven't. I live just a couple hours away. Yep, I haven't been here. I figured we might as well stop and see it. Yeah, this would be great. Southern Pacific. Oh, that's here. That's a photo of here. Yeah. So the way I understand it, these are replicas, working models of the originals. <laughs> now I'm going to have to do an internet search when I get home because I'm gonna need to know what what I looked at here. All right, Lizzie, what do you think of that? That was super cool, huh? Some super cool heritage that we saw. So this is a pretty big deal. Like back in 1869, this was the news of the nation right here. Like the union of the union. Sounds about right. Yeah, pretty cool. Ready for a burger? Oh, I'm ready for a burger. So in honor of our visit to the Golden Spike Transcontinental Railroad uh, Museum and bookstore, we're going to be eating here at the Golden Spike hamburger sandwich place. All right, so we got all our food here. This is the Golden Spike. What town are we even in? Corinne. Corinne. One of my best friends grew up here. Yeah. How would you say that is? Is that a pretty good burger? Yeah, it's real good. But, and you got the special? Yeah. You had your burrito yet? That looks like a good burrito it's right really there. Good, that man. just looks good. All right, well, we recommend. We're out of here. Okay, we'll see you later. The day is still young. We're going to be going by Gumby's place at Lake Point, and then we're going to be meeting LT there, talking about four-wheel drive Chevy stuff. Fun stuff. All right, here we are at Lake Point Auto Salvage. 
We haven't found Gumby yet, but look who it is. Howdy, how are you? You're not standing with the sun to your back. So do any of you recognize this guy, LT from Truck Tech, Power Nation TV? That's right. Back in the day. No, First this... time you were on my channel, but here's LT, and you're just this glowing It looked like you filmed shadow. it on a black and white camera almost. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna do some junkyard digging today. You're looking for a frame. I am, yeah. And I'm just looking because I like junkyards. Let's go find Gumby. Hey. Welcome to Lake Point Auto Parts. How can I help you? Well, good sir. <laughs> we need some auto parts today. Some of the parts we need are four wheel drive frames and make, uh, some other stuff, whatever. They're going to Idaho already, I think. Salesman, uh, I've already got one. If you, okay, if you buy, if you buy six two six zero oh, six zero, oh, you buy all three of them, twenty percent off. Twenty percent off. So one of the motors is a V six. What I'm done. What do you guys think? Should I start hoarding these bigger LS are, engines are, okay. for projects? Are you going to take moms? I'll take them. I'll take all three. The six two, the six zero, oh, and the six zero. Oh. Yep. Okay. And I'll store them at. I'll store them at LT's house. You might only have two when you get back though. Well, I think it's been a productive day. Grabbed a couple of engines for some future projects, maybe for some current projects. All right, so we had a heck of a day today. We went out and did a rescue on the lake. That went super good. So then we came back here to Lake Point Auto Recycling. We met my buddy LT here. We went and looked at some things. We bought some things, engines. Spend all your money. Thank I you, know. by the way. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. So we got a call for a Jeep that is stuck in one of the Great Lakes. The Great Salt Lake. He got it right there. <laughs>